What is up guys, so today TweetBot actually was released for the Mac and this is actually the public alpha version which basically means as it states here on the website it does say it's going to have bugs, it's going to have crashes and incomplete features so they're actually looking for people to test out TweetBot um, and if you're not familiar with TweetBot, what it is basically is a Twitter client and this has been out for quite a while for iOS devices and finally TweetBot has been released for the Mac and so this is probably what everybody was waiting for whoever is an iOS TweetBot user there is actually finally a Mac version out and this of course is not the complete version it's not going to be the final version they just want you to kind of test it out and uh, give them a little feedback on uh, your thoughts about it and also some bugs if you find any bugs but this is the website you can download tweetbot right here which is tapbots.com forward slash tweetbot underscore mac and i'll leave the link down below where you can actually download this for yourself and let's go ahead and take a quick look at tweetbot so here on the left we do have tweetbot and on the right we have the original twitter app and uh, as you see here, if you're familiar with iOS um, TweetBot, you will kind of see the similarity of the iPad version. And this is kind of how the layout is on the iPad, which is pretty nice. We do have, of course, right here is our timeline. And then we have our mentions here. We got our messages, our favorites, our search, where you can search, of course, the trans people in top tweets and stuff like that and then we do have our timeline your actual personal timeline your own personal timeline and then we got lists and then we can view actually the retweets by others so whoever you're following you can actually see what they have have been retweeting and stuff which is pretty nice and then we also have our mute filters which actually you can edit right here on the top right hit that edit button and then we hit the plus button but for now it can only uh, you can do mute client and what this mute filters is is basically you can mute people you can mute keywords or hashtags and clients another word for I guess blocking people or blocking hashtags blocking keywords and all that good stuff so you have that option on there and what actually made me switch over it from the original Twitter to Tweetbot on the iOS was because of the UI. I really like the UI. It's it was really nice. It was kind of easier to use and all that. And another thing is if you're scrolling down, say someone posts a picture like here, we do have the actual picture right here, a little sample of the picture. You can just simply click on it and then it will open up right there, which is pretty nice and unlike the actual Twitter app where you just have all the tweets here and no little nothing you can view or anything it's just a good visual to see kinda a sample of what you're about to look at and also let's look for a video really quick here's a video right here so you can simply tap that and then it'll open right up right there it'll open up your browser and then you can start watching your video so that's pretty cool and um, of course you can let's see for example here's another one let's go ahead and check out if they if you want to see the actual picture and the replies so if you just simply just tap on that tweet it will actually pop up this little picture of course or whatever you're looking at and then you can reply you can retweet you can favorite and you can uh, of course read the later read it later <laughs> copy link to tweet copy tweet and then we do have view retweets and view in fave star right there and if you simply just actually scroll up you do see everybody who has replied to that certain tweet so that's pretty nice unlike on the actual twitter app you can um, well I actually can't even view the conversation so I, I like that little feature on tweetbot and of course you do have a little more stuff you can do here actually you can view the conversation from here this little settings icon right there you can view the conversation and all this other good stuff and one thing I did find that doesn't work on here yet is this little preferences bar or the icon or settings whatever you want to call it that doesn't work yet so I'm guessing that's something they'll fix in the final version so that is basically Tweetbot for you. 
if you want to check this out like I said I'll leave the link down below and uh, also if you like this video go ahead and hit that little like button in the bottom left and show me that you like it and normally I don't do these kinds of videos um, well I do do these videos but I haven't done one in quite a while so if there's any sort of apps that y'all like me to check out and review or something like that leave that in the comment section below or send me a message or tweet me whatnot and you can actually follow me on Twitter of course at jbtech17 I'll leave that below as well as always so guys that's gonna be my quick little review of tweetbot and all that and like I said I'll leave the link down below where you can actually download this for yourself if you are a Mac user because this is only available for the Mac and as always guys hit that little like button in the bottom left if you like this video and give it a thumbs up to show me that you like it and also if you have any questions or anything like that leave that in the comment section below go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed to my channel so you'll be notified when I come out with my latest video but that is it for this video guys thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all on the next one alright peace